know, I can't even say that I'm surprised. Like, we all had to see this shit coming from a mile away. Bro, where we from? That's the way of life. You either trapping or you probably stuck up on a pipe. Money on my head, killer's supposed to take flight. So I keep the heat on me every day and night. Big homie in the pen sent the boys a kite. They get them dirty. Yo, YouTube, what's the deal? It's your boy Zay back with another one. Check it out. Look around the channel, see if there's something for you. If there ain't, you better get up out of here pretty fast. But if there is, what I need y'all to do is hit the subscribe button down below. Also, uh, turn the bell on so you get notified when I drop these bangers on y'all. I got a quick video for y'all today. Or, well, tonight, I should say. I'm gonna do a, a spill on Savage Studios, man, and the murder that took place. I know this shit's coming late. Check it out. This morning, I woke up at, like, 5 a.m. I seen Gunner's post about him. Well, actually, um, I seen the homie Garnal, guys. <laughs> I seen him post a video of Gunner, so I shot over to Gunner's page, checked it out, and, uh, I seen some of the shit on there, what was going on, and I knew it was facts because Gunner's a big dog, you feel me, and everything that he says comes out to be factual, so I knew I could trust it, and uh, please don't mind the dogs, it's crazy to me, everybody's trying to clout chase and get in on this shit as much as they can, and um, if you didn't know him, I don't think you should, you feel me, which I didn't know him on a personal level, but I did have words with the individual several times. Within those several times that I had a, a run-in with this dude, it was over. It was over some petty stuff. We're gonna get to that, but uh, so I did have run-in with him. So a little bit about Savage. His name is Savage Studios. I don't remember what his real name was. You know, we go by these nicknames on YouTube. He was from Southern California. He did a he did a prison bit. I think he did ten years. He was uh he locked it up. You feel me? He went to the other side and he joined a gang on the other side of that. You know, a PC or pretty much. He joined a gang that's called the Deuce Fives or Two Fives. Basically, they're the predators of the predators. You know what I mean? Of the sexual predators. Like, it's weird, bro. But they rock like that, and that's what they do. You know what I mean? Like, that's the organization he was in. That's what he was with. This dude would go out of his way to... He would go out of his way just to start drama. You feel me? That's what he was on. You know, that's, that's why I don't understand. A lot of these people don't even understand what they're speaking on. But they're speaking on it. You know what I mean? They're coming on here and like, oh, rest in peace. He was a cool dude because they see one video like they don't understand. And I'm talking about our shit went way back to when the prison genre wasn't popping on YouTube like 2019 when Florida really had it wrapped up. It wasn't California, it was Florida. You know, with your TKs, your your uh, Frogger, your 1090 Jakes, all of them, you know what I mean? Those are people you might not know about. Well, some of them, yeah, but TK and they're gone. They're not on there no more. He's, he's doing like a 20-year sentence, but that's whenever I broke out with this shit and I started getting into the prison genre was back in 2019 whenever the shit first came out. It was some around but it wasn't so much in but Savage was already popping back then. He asked me to share him on my page. I told him that or, or he yeah he asked me to post his page and I was like bro I don't have no followers yet. I have seven followers which my family. It's not gonna do you no good. So he started you know getting all mad talking about the bitch this bitch that you know and I don't go for that shit so we had some words back and forth. We left it alone and uh, that was that, but um, that was the man that he was. If he didn't get his way, he jumped to conclusions fast, and he he uh, would make a big scene, start you know saying, "Pull up." That was his favorite thing, pull up. And unfortunately, that's how he lost his life, you know. So uh, fast forward a little bit, Savage made this reputation for himself. And look, guys, let me tell you all this: I respect the dead. I'm not disrespecting the dead, but what I will say was he wasn't no angel, but dude. He was asking for his life to get to pretty much, you know. He was going against organizations that you can't go against. Not even going against them. He was blatantly disrespecting them. He did, like, he did, I don't know. You know, that's something that I will give him is that he fucking, he went out there and uh, he put his address out there. Pull up. Who wants to pull up? Like, and he would wait out there for someone to pull up. You know, that's, like, I will give him that. I don't think Savage was the biggest gangster. I don't think that he was, I think he was kind of reckless. You feel me? I think that he would put himself out there like like almost like he was begging to lose his life you know I, I didn't really get that he was like the Takashi of the prison genre you know he was always 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 fussing and arguing and instigating like that's just who he was that was his persona you know so like I said all these pages he's old like coming out of the woodwork trying to clout chase off this shit and it doesn't make sense to me it's like there's no clout to get due to the fact that this dude was you know, kind of kind of a jackass, you know, he always started problems, and like I said, I'm not disrespecting the dead, but it is what it is, I'm gonna tell it for what it is, you know, I know a couple people that he had run-ins with, but, uh, so yeah, he lived his life like that, you know, he, he lived his life as, 
he didn't really value life too much, you know. Unfortunately, he did have a kid. He has a wife, but his wife barely recently left him. So he wasn't in a spot where all these people are like, oh, his wife's so sad, I feel bad. Like, pages on here, these old-ass dudes are like, oh, yeah, his wife and his kid. Like, bro, y'all y'all speak on things that you don't know for clout, and it doesn't make sense to me. Like, at least do the due diligence to learn the shit, you know what I mean? Put the time in to learn it and figure it out before you go put stuff out. All day I've been seeing nothing. That's why I waited, because I've seen nothing but people speak on situations backwards and you know if you have three people and you tell one something by the time it gets to the third it's going to be different that's what they're doing but i got my shit from the news and i got it from the big dog you know what i mean so like i said what happened was savage savvy he was a uh, barely started working at a tattoo shop he posted a tattoo on his tiktok he was there working and you can only tell people pull up so much before karma comes around you manifest that shit it happens to you you bring that energy back that you put out so what happened was someone pulled up and they clapped him you feel me i heard he only got hit like two or three times but he did you know succumb to his injuries on site and lose his life in the tattoo parlor I, that's just what happens you know like i said he was always out there putting himself out there to to have these things take place and have these things happen to him and if you live like like i can't stress it enough if you live like that that's what's gonna happen it's serious, you know, it's serious. A lot of people tend to think that this YouTube shit is just a game, you know. Adam22 for one. Uh, there's this other dude, I'm even going to mention his name, bro. I'm already tired of talking to this, this fucking man, dude. Like, I'm sick of it because he doesn't understand. Like, he's constantly pumping life into a situation that's going to cause people to lose their life. Like, this shit gets deep, bro. This YouTube shit really gets deep. The problem with Savage, nobody knows who did it, but what I can say is... You can expect anybody because he started so many problems, so they don't know. And and with this organization, I'm not going to say their name, but he um, was going out to talk shit about them. Like He would try to clown on them, but then he'd come back and make an apology video. You know, and, and you can't do shit like that. This is a very serious, serious organization, and he was doing that. And once you become a liability to people... You know, they, they have to get you out the way one way or another. Before I started all this YouTube shit, I did an interview. It kind of got a little people upset. So I talked to the big, big homie. I'm like, yo, is it cool if I'm doing this? He said, yeah, but you know what to say and what not to say. You know how to represent us and how not to represent us. Don't become a liability. He didn't tell me you this will happen or, or not, nothing. But he the words that he said, don't become a liability. Because what he was telling me was... Don't force us to have to do something. Don't become a liability. You know what you can say and what you can't say. Anybody that signed up for this life as Savage did should know that. And he never he never lived like that. He was really, really reckless at the mouth for good reasons. He was, uh, he was, uh, uh, he checked it in in prison. He was a PCer. He was non-active. He was in a PC gang. You know what I mean? He was in a dropout gang or a check-in gang. He was banging that gang of that. So, I mean, what do you expect? You know what I mean? But, uh. Like I said, these dudes, you know, they think it's just clout, and it's not. This shit gets serious. When you pump life into a situation that people are trying to dead for a reason and let go of for a reason so people don't start getting hurt. And these fools, would, would they don't care. Like, they'd rather do the shit. Like, uh, uh, shout out to American Troll. Like he said, Adams wants these views, but it's on the back of black and brown kids. That's the same shit. You're pumping life into shit. And you don't understand how serious this shit gets. And I hope this is a wake up call for y'all old ass, old men, YouTubers that are doing this shit, bro. This shit's serious out here and it gets fucking serious. Whether you're in Texas, California, New Mexico, Arizona, it don't matter. This shit gets serious. When you pump life into a situation, it gets serious. And you're doing it for clout. That's, it, it, it's crazy to me. It's fucking sickening to me to play with someone's death because... Or the fact that you can get views off that shit. You know, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. But that's the shit that's happening. I seen, like I said, I seen fucking churches talking about it. And you know what I mean? I'll be the first to tell you. I wasn't cool with Savage. He wasn't my friend. I did have a couple of, uh, a little running with the dude. But it wasn't nothing major. But he wasn't my fucking friend. I really didn't get along with him whatsoever. I thought a lot of the shit that he did was wrong. He probably thought the shit I did was wrong. So I'm not going to sit here and act like I knew him like that, and he was my homie, but I, I've seen preachers, like, where were all y'all when Savvy was alive, like, all y'all, you know what I mean, it doesn't make sense, people will do anything for clout, because it's the fact that Savage isn't here, and he can't say nothing, you know, they can do that shit, I, on the other hand, have the messages where we're going back and forth arguing in the beginning of my YouTube, you know, and, uh, it is what it is, but this dude did a lot, a lot of things to a lot of people, and offended a lot of people, and talked about people's moms, and kids, and families, and, that shit, it, it comes to a 
a, a ugly, ugly end. When you live like that and you disrespect like that and you're a man of no morals and that's what I feel like he was. It's unfortunate that his sons might have to see all these videos of people talking down on him. But that's the that's the energy he put out. That's the character he became on this social media platform. You got to be very careful because people don't know you in real life. They don't know how you are when you're not acting like a jackass. All they know is what you put out. So when you constantly put shit out that's you trying to brag about gangs and shit or, or trying to, um, you know, just violence and just dumb, like, stuff that doesn't make sense, that's all they're going to know from you. So when that happens, they're going to form an opinion of you that's there forever. And they make a video when you lose your life. Your kids are going to have to go back and watch that in five years. I'm sure his son's going to be hurt that he has to see that, but it is what it is. That's the That's the role that his dad took. That's the character his dad put on. And he has... At the end of the day, like I said, we know what we signed up for. He, even though he's gone, he got to own it. That's what he done. That's what he became, and that's who he was, you know? I'm not going to get on here and disrespect, but at the same time, we weren't cool. We weren't cool. I'm not going to get on here neither like these other platforms saying he was a good guy because the facts of the matter is is that there was a lot of people looking to get Savage, and there's reasons for that, you know? With the family, like I said, with the family, he would post his address, like, or he'd always tell people, pull up, I'll beat you up, I'll do this, I'll do that always talking too much and the shit caught up with him you know i seen a lot of people in my city die with the full clip you know why because they're not a shooter that's another issue that y'all got y'all gotta get y'all gotta figure out man these dudes want to get on the internet and talk about oh i got this heat i'm gonna slide on you they're telling they're telling their ops they're gonna they're gonna pull the heat out they're gonna, they're gonna trip on them shoot them so when you tell your ops that you're gonna clap them they automatically put it in their head, okay, you're going to clap me, I'm going to clap you first. The only problem is, is that op is a real shooter. So now what you got is a real shooter looking for somebody that's not a shooter. But you acted like that. You portrayed yourself to be that on the internet for this internet shit because no one can get you behind the camera. So now when this op runs into you, his first instinct is to up it on you because you've been telling him for the last two months that you're going to clap him when you see him. Knowing damn well that you're not a shooter. That you never been a shooter. You got a pistol that's illegally in your name. But now this dude that's a real G really out here thugging really with the business. He runs into you and he puts you in the dirt. Why? Because of the things that you spoke. When it could have just been a fight or even a talk. You know what I mean? You never know. But that's the shit that these, this internet's making people do. You know? So I hope that uh, y'all learn something from this whole situation on both ends. These old ass men that are getting on here. And they're breathing all this life into dead situations. And they're bragging of like the gang shit is something to be cool about. Like, you're, you're so close to being in the old folks home already, homie. Why is it cool still? It's not. It ain't cool. Like, it's not cool, bro. You look how old you are. You know, you look like an old ass kid. But breathing shit into a dead situation or situations on the back end of dying. And you're just sparking it up, sparking it up. And every a couple people feel the same way. That right there. Is enough to get people hurt or portraying to be someone you're not on the internet that's enough to get you hurt as well so I hope y'all take something from that and y'all learn something this YouTube shit gets grimy it gets real it gets real real fast and I hope that uh everybody stays safe and you learn something from Savage Studios like I said he wasn't my friend but rest in peace anyway he's gone my condolences to the family but hey man you live by that you leave by that you feel me um, and, and any it can be anybody's time. You never know. Anybody can get. I can get hit right now. Next person can get hit right now. It does, you never know, bro. You just never know. That's why I tell y'all: live your life the best way that you can, and stand on morals that mean something, not on bullshit. This gang shit is played out, bro. It ain't nothing like that. that shit's not, not like the '90s. It's this weird old man. Don't even get me started. Anyway, y'all have a good fucking Saturday night. Y'all be safe. Learn something, bro. Y'all little YouTube homies that are trying to come up. This shit ain't it. Just because you see these old ass, whack ass fools acting like that gang shit's cool, it's not. It ain't cool to be somebody for a camera. Take care of your business. Stay safe. You know, keep your morals. Hold to them. Be classy. All that shit. But don't don't be someone you're not, bro, for the internet because that shit catches up to you, you know? Like it caught up to Savage Studios, and it will. The time will come when it will, you know? And I always knew that. I always knew shit was gonna catch up to him. I just didn't know when, and. It's unfortunate that it came sooner than later, you know what I mean? But anyway, y'all have a good Saturday night. Y'all stay safe. I'm going to see you on the next one. I'm saying I'm out.